right now, but we are looking at pretty clear conditions out there on radar. Temperature wise, we're in the 50s and the 60s. You'll see 67 in downtown, 64 in San Dimas and 50 right now in the high desert in Palmdale, Santa Clarita at 59. Earlier today, we made it to 82 degrees. Average is 70 and record temperatures 90. So we didn't get close to record numbers. Well, kind of close, eight degrees close, but we were well above average for this time of year. And staying above average over the next 24 hours, we're down into the 40s, then we're up into the 50s, and by the afternoon, we are up into the upper 70s. So we've got a pretty good looking forecast on our hands as we head to tomorrow afternoon. Santa Monica, a little more mild for you. You're at 68. Anaheim, 74. Riverside, 77. And Woodland Hills, you're getting up to 78 degrees by the afternoon hours. So high pressure is moving out of our forecast. And as a result, well, we're looking at cooler conditions and sunny for now, but that's all starting to change as we head toward the second part of your weekend. That onshore flow starting to pick up and with that we'll see a little more cloud cover and we will see cooler temperatures tomorrow. You're not going to feel it as much, but you're really going to start to feel the difference by Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Take a look at the valleys in the Inland Empire. We are still warm as we head into tomorrow. We're significantly cooler by Sunday and don't forget it is daylight saving time. So set those clocks forward an hour between 2 and 3 a.m. So 2 a.m. becomes 3 a.m. We do technically lose an hour of sleep between Saturday and Sunday. Monday, a little more cloud cover for you, mostly cloudy by Tuesday and keeping things that way as we head into your Wednesday. So again, keeping it warm for now, but really feeling a bit of a difference as we head into your Sunday and your work week. Rick and Sharon back cover and we're jumping ahead to Sunday because we're still dealing with plenty of sunshine tomorrow. Just a cooler forecast by Sunday six in the morning dealing with a little bit of fog right there. Maybe even a little bit of drizzle produced from it. You'll see by Sunday afternoon looks to be a little clearer, but more clouds moving in by the evening hours. We are calling it partly cloudy by Sunday and by the overnight hours into Monday. We are expecting more cloud cover and it does look like there's a chance of rain to our north. Most of it really just staying north of Point Conception, but it doesn't mean that well there won't be a chance here slight chance of showers south of point conception but for the most part again we are keeping the rain to our north we're just keeping mostly cloudy conditions and cooler temperatures intact for the week at this point that large ridge of high pressure is still holding strong over southern california but that's eventually going to start to break down starting to break down a little bit tomorrow and then as we head to sunday and of course your work week starting to break down even more so then low pressure starts to slide in that's providing us with that chance of rain to our north but here at home in the southland we are expecting cooler conditions and cloudier conditions as that onshore flow starts to pick up later this weekend and other conditions along the coast but as we head into your inland spots well some the cloud cover is going to reach into our inland valleys. But when we're talking spots like the high desert and the mountains, that's where we're looking at a different story. Hot, windy and dry. We've got red flag warnings and wind advisories for the San Bernardino and Riverside County Mountains. And for the Antelope Valley, we are looking at a red flag warning in effect through tomorrow. Wind wise right now, windy conditions in the high desert as we head out to Riverside about seven miles an hour out to the coast, 13 miles an hour. And in Laguna, we're at about five miles an hour, so just a little breezy there. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s this evening, very mild, even warm. The IE right now, the 70s, 75 for Riverside. That's actually warmer than it was in downtown earlier today. So again, microclimate's really kicking in. 79 is average, so we were a few degrees below average and a very similar looking forecast as we head into tomorrow. Overnight, 60s, mid 60s, and by the afternoon, we are in the 70s and keeping things that way again, at least for the next 24 hours for the basin. Santa Monica, Florida, Flirting with 70, Anaheim 75, Palmdale 96, Riverside 84, and Woodland Hills, you're getting up to 86 degrees as we head into tomorrow afternoon. So just to recap your weather headlines showing you overnight low clouds and fog, that's going to be the forecast at least for the next few days, especially into our inland valleys, the basin, the coast. We will see some warning, warming rather Wednesday, but that's really just going to be for our inland spots. And then as we head toward the later part of the week, a trough of low pressure arrives and with that, we're going to see a bit of a cool down as we head toward the end of the week. And well, we're going to have that cool down for you in your five day forecast in just a minute. But first, want to show you future casts. It's set for the overnight hours by 1.30 a.m. That fog really starting to roll in by 4 a.m. Pushing into our inland valleys, waking up to pretty gray conditions west of the foothills right there. 645 in the morning by 930. The fogs were seeding back toward the coast a little bit and by 12 o'clock in the afternoon. We're still looking at patchy fog along the coast, maybe a few clouds in the basin and mostly sunny to partly sunny conditions into most of your inland spots. You'll see that in your five day forecast right here. Temperature wise, much the same for you tomorrow. 80s tomorrow for the 
inland valleys and of course the inland empire as well flirting with 90 by Wednesday. So that's when we're going to warm it up. Then we're going to cool it down just a touch as we head to your Thursday and Friday and by your Saturday just a little cooler and for the basin Orange County keeping things much the same tomorrow mix of low clouds and sunshine by the afternoon, but still talking mostly to partly sunny, warm temperatures and keeping it a little warmer as we head to Friday, much the same as we head into your weekend. Very good. Mm -hmm. Rain as we speak, seeing a little bit of rain pretty much everywhere. Radar showing you just that set for right now. So you're seeing sprinkles over the basin into the mountains as well. And take a look at all of this rain sitting just to our north over Ojai right there into the south coast. Santa Barbara looking at plenty of rain and it's working its way into Southern California over the next few hours. Expecting rain into the overnight hours into first thing tomorrow morning and could see a few scattered showers as we head into the afternoon. So we're going to have more on that in a minute. You'll see right here though we're looking Looking at just a few drops spanning through Pasadena into Pomona into Corona downtown looking at a few drops of rain even tracking a few uh, drops rather at the coast over into Santa Ana Fullerton also looking at a few drops of rain you're just looking at light green on radar light green just indicating light rain nothing too heavy no thunderstorms but we are looking at thunderstorms to our north take a look at this uh, we are dealing with just a little bit of activity right there so we could potentially see that in our forecast at this point not a lot of instability. So with that, we're just looking at steady showers, no thunderstorms, meaning no lightning, no thunder at this point. Again, just steady rain into the overnight hours and very windy conditions. A wind advisory currently in effect for the high desert right there for the Santa Clarita Valley for the LA County Mountains. We're expecting windy conditions to last through tomorrow, even after it dries out, still expecting very windy conditions. In fact, could see wind gusts up to about 50 miles an hour. So again, just scattered showers right now, but waiting for the brunt of the rain to get here into the overnight hours and into tomorrow as well. So I want to talk about rainfall totals. We actually set a couple of records so far. This is the rain we've seen since yesterday and we're expecting more, maybe about a tenth of an inch up to maybe half an inch more between now and tomorrow. Long Beach, you set a record last time you saw rain on today. Uh, we were talking about a trace, so we really beat that record. We got up to a quarter of an inch, so pretty impressive. LAX also just under a quarter of an inch of rain, and everybody else doing pretty good. Dana Point, Orange County, just about a quarter of an inch, and Santa Monica, just about a third of an inch of rain. So again, record rainfall already, and expecting more rain on top of rain, potentially mountain snow as well. Those snow levels dropping to about 5,000 feet. Could see accumulations above 6,000 feet. We're talking maybe a couple of inches, and for the valleys in the inland Empire. We're looking at rain tomorrow, heaviest in the morning, drying out by the evening. By Thursday and Friday, we're warming it up. We're clearing it out. And then by Saturday and Sunday, partly cloudy. Back uh, to you. All righty. Thanks. Ab but again, nothing really getting in the way of the sunshine as we head into the afternoon hours. Several wind advisories in store. You're going to see all of the light blue highlighting on your screen indicating just that. They're in effect through 10 a.m. tomorrow, expecting 25 to 35 mile an hour sustained winds. At this point, it does look somewhat calm. You're going to see winds pretty much in the single digits at this point in time. Temperatures right now into the 50s and the 60s as well. 56 in the high desert in Palmdale, 61 in downtown, and 59 in San Pedro. Very warm temperatures earlier today got close to setting and breaking those records. Didn't quite happen for us. Yesterday, Palmdale and Lac Lancaster both broke records. Not the case today. Palmdale, you got up to 77. Lancaster getting up to 78. San Gabriel, you made it up to 80. Woodland Hills, 83, and LAX, you're getting up to 73 degrees. Earlier today, we made it to 79 in downtown, and that's about 10 degrees above average for this time of year. Record temperatures were tougher to beat, especially in downtown, 90 degrees. Didn't get anywhere close to that, but of course we were above average, and we're going to continue to stay above average over the next 24 hours. 50s as we head into the overnight morning hours, and by the afternoon, we are up into the 70s, 76 degrees in downtown, still very warm for you. Santa Monica, 70. Anaheim 77, Palmdale getting up to 70, Riverside 77, and Woodland Hills, you're getting up to 80 degrees. So high pressure building into Southern California, and with that, we're looking at very gusty offshore winds, above average temperatures, and 
a cooler weekend on tap as well. We're going to show you exactly how cool we're going to get or how much cooler we're going to get as we head into the weekend in just a minute. But want to show you what's going on with our forecast right here. We've got a ridge of high pressure. You're going to see a very well defined ridge sitting right over Southern California. You're going to see that clockwise rotation situated around high pressure, and that's what's bringing in those gusty northeasterly winds. Hence the wind advisory that we have in store pretty much across the entire Southland. Remember that is lasting through 10 a.m. We're going to have more on that extended forecast coming up in just a little bit. Rick and Sharon, back to you. It's cool down here at the Broadcast Center in Studio City. We're currently at 54 degrees. We're getting a look at, well, radar. Or actually, we're going to see your weather headlines. And as we do, you'll see right here low pressure starting to build into Southern California. That onshore flow starting to pick up. Cooler temperatures really starting to kick in this weekend. And believe it or not, maybe, just maybe, a chance of a shower. We've got a low pressure trough digging into Southern California. And with that, again, we're seeing all of the above the entreflow, the cooler temperatures, and the chance of a shower as we head into your Sunday night. We're going to time that out for you again right here in Futurecast. Take a look at midnight or so, still quite foggy. And again, the fog's really starting to push into our inland valleys as well. Waking up to foggy conditions, but you'll see by 11 o'clock, the fog's going to start to recede back toward the coastline. We are dealing with a little more sunshine by the afternoon. We're jumping to Sunday, and you're going to see by 8 a.m. Sunday morning, we are dealing with foggy conditions as we push through the afternoon hours by two o'clock does look like we will see a little more sunshine. So a mix of clouds and sun by Sunday evening. There's a chance of a shower or two, mainly to our south and to our east. Shouldn't affect the Oscars on Sunday night, but it will be a cooler and certainly a cloudier evening by Monday. 10 in the morning looks like we are getting some rain to our south, to our east and to our north. Not ruling out the chance of a raindrop though Sunday night into Monday morning and by Monday we are calling it mostly cloudy. The model showing us a little more clearing, but again, we will see a little bit of rain, cloud cover and possibly a little sunshine as we head into your Monday. You'll see right here in your five day forecast. We are calling it a lot cooler and again cloudier over the next couple of days for the basin in Orange County. Cool and cloudy by Monday with maybe a chance of a morning shower, maybe even a little bit of drizzle produced from all of the fog. We're expecting to build into our forecast by Tuesday. More sunshine, but won't affect temperatures. Still very cool. We're barely even making it to 60 degrees. In fact, not making it to 60 until Wednesday. We're warming right back up into the mid 60s for you by Wednesday. Taking you to the coast where we're calling it partly cloudy over the next couple of days. We're cooling it down to the mid 60s tomorrow, low 60s by Sunday, mostly cloudy by your Monday. As we head to your Tuesday and your Wednesday, we're starting to clear out. In fact, by Tuesday, expecting more sunshine flirting with 60, so still quite cool even at the coast. And by Wednesday, maybe a touch warmer again, expecting sunshine by Wednesday as well. We're going to show you what the valleys in the Inland Empire looks like for the weekend and next week. That's all coming up in just a little bit. Rick and Sharon back to you.